We've got another installment here on our hurricane prep video series, and this one's about surge protection. You can see here we've got a bolt shield, whole house surge protector, and that runs into our circuit panel. We also have a square D whole house surge protector, and that's actually hooked into our air handler uh, with our new AC system. And up here, we've got a DITEC, and that's a surge protector for the air condenser that's outside. Now, normally, you don't see surge protection on an air handler in a home. And normally, you would see the DITEC outside on the disconnect box by the AC unit. But we're trying something different in our house. We're trying to put our surge protection right at the point of entry where the power comes into the home. And since most of the surges in a, in a house actually occur inside the circuit box, actually occur on this side, what we're trying to do is to keep everything localized here. Now, we'll open this box up in a minute. Not that there's a lot to see, just a bunch of wires. But basically, the power comes in from FPL, that's Florida Power and Light, our electric provider. And we have a fifth plug here. And that breaker is located right here. It's the lowest breaker that we've got beside our generator interlock here. So we've taken this and we've run the two hot wires up to this breaker. We've run the neutral to the neutral bar and the ground to the ground bar. With this guy here, we've run this up to the air handler and we've run the two hot wires into the hot wires of the breaker. And then we've run the neutral to the neutral bus bar and then the ground to the ground. And the same thing with the DITEC. The DITEC comes over to the air condenser. The two hots go into the breaker, then the neutral down to the neutral bus bar, and then the ground to the ground. Now, we try to keep the wires as short as possible, the shortest distance possible, because if a surge is to come into the system, we hope that it chases through and gets dampened by our surge protectors rather than going through and giving us an issue with a circuit. Um, we spent about 160 bucks on this Siemens FSPD, so it's a bolt shield device. It's good for 140,000 kilovolts. This one's good for 80,000. This is a square D unit. And this one up here should be good for about 50,000. So we have great whole house surge protection. We've got some redundancy built into our new Daikin air conditioning unit. And I'm going to pause the video just for a second. I'm going to take this box off and show you a couple things. One important feature, code says you're not supposed to have any more than one wire on either side of a circuit breaker. The only exception is if you're using whole house surge protection, then you can actually have a second. All righty, we're back again here. So again, we have our Siemens device here. We've got it properly popped in there. You notice the wires, always clean, neat, and professional. So we've got our two hot wires here on the garage breaker hot, hot, and then we have neutral and ground, and that's how we have the whole house surge protector put in there. Now for the Square D product, we used to have this as our whole house surge protector, but we since moved it over, and it is now put in there nice, clean, neat, and professional, and it runs up to the air handler and hooks into the breaker here along with the hot wires, neutral and ground, and then the DITEC, which you see to my right, it goes into the air condenser, and that's how we've got things set up. Well, there you have it. A short video showing how we simply put in a whole house breaker and how we used another whole house breaker on our air handler and another breaker designed for the air condenser outside on our unit. We get a lot of lightning here in southwest Florida. If we have hurricane spin up down here, sometimes you'll get tornadic activity and you'll get a lot of lightning, et cetera, before a storm comes in and sometimes after a storm comes in. So we want to be prepared for that. Folks who deal with lightning up north and any other kind of storm obviously have the same kind of issue. It, it costs a little bit of money to put these things in. You're looking at a couple hundred dollars and then more if you hire an electrician. But it protects your home from some of the biggest surges you can have. When you're dealing with lightning, nothing is guaranteed, of course. Two days after we put in this, whole house surge protector. We actually had a lightning strike about 80 feet away and lightning jumped across the roofs and hit some of our holiday lighting that we keep up. We have some permanent lights up around the house. Ran down through, popped three breakers in here, took out the HDMI port on our laptop, took out our security system, and also messed up a TV in the office. So $2,000 later, here we are. These things happen. 
the lightning came in from a different path. What we're doing is protecting from surges within the system as things go on and off during the day, and we're protecting from power surges coming through the line. Sometimes with lightning, these things will help. Sometimes they won't. You can look at other lightning protection methods. Uh, Capital Electronics has a CMCE lightning arrestor device that's a, that goes up on top of the house. That's another subject for another video. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to put them below. Again, we just wanted to show this to you, a very short video. If you have any questions, reach out. We'll have details on our website. You can reach out to us in the comments section. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.